You want it, I want it, we all want slow motion in our video. It makes a second seem like a lifetime and a split second in motion into a drama. And I'm gonna show you how to do that like a professional in Premiere Pro. So we're gonna break this video up into three parts. The first part, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know before you get started. The second part is how we actually do that in Premiere Pro. And the third part is how slow motion footage and frame rates and everything works. And that's where I'll go in a bit more detail about the terminology if you still don't understand. And if that doesn't help you, then you can leave me a comment in uh, below and I'll answer all questions that everybody asks me. I'm literally here just to do that. I've got nothing else to do. And if you stick around to the end, I'll also share some of the bonus tips and the things I like to do with slow motion footage that might give you some ideas to be a bit more creative and ultimately just be a bit more efficient when you're on filming about when's the best time to use slow motion footage, when's the best time to film in slow motion and when's the best time to edit slow motion footage. To slow down footage, drag your footage to the timeline. Change your sequence frame rate by going to sequence, sequence settings, then go into the frame rate suitable to your footage as shown in the previous section. Click OK, then right click your clip and go to speed duration and change the speed of your clip depending on the frame rate of your footage. If you have 120 frames per second footage, you can slow this down by four times in a 30 frames per second timeline by reducing to 25% or by five times in a 24 frames per second timeline by reducing to 20%. If you have 60 frames per second footage, you can reduce this to 50% in a 30 frames per second timeline or 40% in a 24 frames per second timeline. You can smoothly slow down 30 frames per second footage to 80% its original speed in a 24 frames per second timeline. If you have footage shot in 100 frames per second, you can slow this down to 25% in a 25 frames per second timeline. And if you have 50 frames per second footage, this can be slowed down to 50% in a 25 frames per second timeline. I should also say, if you haven't grabbed, uh, screen grabbed any of this in the video, you can check out the description below. I'll have all these numbers written down as a nice simple guide that you can copy and paste wherever you want. Or you can save this video and come back to it at a later date. We need to make one thing absolutely clear. To sell the slow motion effect, we need it to look as smooth as possible. No stutters, no dropped frames, no nothing, because as soon as you start doing that, it makes it look amateurish. And the one thing you won't find on this channel is anything, any advice that will make your videos look amateurish. So if you're into learning how to create video, make it look professional, and doing it the quickest way possible, then make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Now that we know how to edit slow motion footage, it's time to understand how it all works. I'm going to do that as quickly as possible whilst timing myself. Craig from the future, I'm here to uh, do a second attempt of my explanation about how slow motion footage works and how to edit with it. So here we go. When you're editing slow motion footage, you always want to make sure that your slow motion footage has a higher frame rate than the sequence that you're editing in. Your editing sequence should always be lower. A frame is essentially just a still image. When we're talking about frames per second or FPS, we're talking about how fast your camera is taking an image every second. So when we're talking about 30 frames per second, it's taking 30 frames every second. 30 images every second and it stitches it into a video. 60 frames per second, the same space of time, that same one second period, it's just taking more images over uh, faster in the same period of time. To find out whether you've got the right sequence to edit in, what you want to do is take the frame rate of your footage and divide it by the editing sequence. If it divides evenly, then it's the right um, sequence to be editing in. So for example, 120 frames per second footage, you could divide that evenly by 30 to give you four. Four is the amount of slow motion is that you can, do, um, that you can create. You can create four times slow motion with that. What you need to do is take that uh, frame rate throw it into a 30 frames per second um, sequence, go into your speed duration, take 100%, which is what the speed is, divide that by four to 25%, and that is the right amount of speed duration you need to get the smoothest possible footage. You could take the same formula and apply it to different types of uh, frame rates in editing sequences, and that will give you the smoothest slow motion. Now it's time to answer the big question that normally everybody asks. Which frame rate should I use and when should I use it? And the answer is, there's not one frame rate that does everything. 
Generally, I tend to use my slowest frame rate for things like my interview and anything that involves people talking. And then it's entirely up to me to be creative and pick between 50 frames per second, 100 frames per second. And the same applies if you're filming uh, in other parts of the world where you're filming in 30, 60 or 120 frames per second. So my bonus tip here would be to be intentional with your frame rates that you film in. Because if you use slow motion all the time for all your videos, then it can look quite amateurish or quite boring. And then you're just sort of looking at clips of things that might be really slow for long periods of time. And you're going to lose your audience. What you want to do is keep your audience engaged. Use slow motion footage to really sort of like create tension or drama or to show something to somebody that they might not have seen before. Something that happens so fast they don't normally see it every day. But if you've got a slow motion camera, then you can show them that and they just become more engaged and more interested. Try looking for things that happen in less than five seconds and capturing that. Because an audience will find that very interesting, like drinks pouring or birds flying or fireworks going off or somebody getting hit in the face or somebody reacting to the moment they get proposed to, then that's the kind of things that you, like audiences will engage with more because it's the second they notice that something's happened or the reaction to something that they want to see. Remember, don't waste time when you can be creative. Get out there and try it for yourself. I've made a playlist if you found this video useful of all the other videos that helped me to learn about slow motion footage and high frame rates. So you can check that out in the link in the description below or on the screen right here. Uh, until then, I'll see you in the next video.